Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts At Home and I hope everybody is doing great. I am super excited to share with you our math book that we are using at home and these are not just course math books but these are extra math books that we use um, at home for doing different uh, topics like rectangles, quadrilaterals, fractions, division, estimated, uh, sorry, estimations, uh, then measuring, measurements, then you have metric system, division. So before we get going, uh, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and do leave a comment if you have any of these books or if you're interested in getting one, I would definitely uh, love to know. So let's get going and let me show you the first book. It's an extremely cute book called Measuring Penny. Uh, now this book, as you can see in the picture, is a girl with three dogs and that's Penny, that's the dog. And this in this whole book, um, the, it shows that there's a school project that um, is given to Lisa. And um, Lisa is supposed to measure uh, everything that she can but there are different subjects that have been given to them so like choose something to measure measure it at any and many ways as you can height width length weight volume temperature time so there are so many topics that they're covering under one book but the way the books the book explains and graduates from one unit to another is just amazing so i think it's a great way to introduce um the topic they say record the results so you definitely are recording include at least one comparison of taller that taller or heavy remembers the measurement always has two parts so that's they're saying there is a number or unit like example i am um five feet five feet tall so the unit is feet and the number is five uh, which unit can you use here are some examples so this is exactly how this show and then pen uh, then lisa decides to go back home and she sees penny and that's how she decides to take measurement of penny but then they have shown how exactly she's using the scale and then she's uh, measuring it in inches she's documenting it and then she is trying to use the dog biscuits to measure and then you could see she's measuring the 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 foot of different dogs because she went to the park there were so many dogs so she she thought it's a great idea to take measurements for all of them and now somebody's standing so there is definitely um, a comparison that's happening and now remember there was a comparison that need to happen for light and um, heavy so that's what's happening here and uh, now she's comparing how when they measure uh, in terms of weight and the same measurement when she makes cookies she uses the same time so the whole book revolves around measurement and everything that lisa is doing with penny revolves around that so it's a great book um, on on measurement so primarily they cover all the topics and i think it's a great story the second one that we really love is called uh, greater estimations so estimation primarily is, um, is is a technique or an art that kid needs to learn uh, like when they see uh, let me just show you so this picture that you see here uh, the book says to not just take an estimation and say that this is 35,000 ducks or it's 29 million there is an art of estimation so you need to know exactly um, like how a group of five 10, hundreds, thousand, 10,000 look like eventually. And the size also matters a lot. So they have given a lot of examples of different shapes and sizes, and uh, they have broken it down into uh, different parts for you to understand the estimation rules. And like the popcorn. So look at the size. They have given two comparisons of how 100 popcorns look like and how 1000 popcorn looks like. So of course, size really matters. Um, at the same time, then there is called clump counting. So there are many topics that they have uh, done here, but they have definitely nailed the logic behind estimation. There's another book that we love is Fractions in Disguise. Uh, when I got this book, this book is um, by Edward N. Horn and David Clark. Uh, it's illustrated by them. They have a lot of books uh, by them. They have Multiplying Menace, Equal, Shim Equal. They have Circumference. They have Beanstalk. You have um, Once Upon a Dime, A Place of Zero, uh, Pythograms. 
So they have really amazing books by uh, by under these series, and I'm definitely gonna check it out. There's a book on probability as well, and these are all very kid friendly books. So this book is about uh, this uh, this uh, person here who likes to collect uh, different kind of fractions all the time, and now one of the fraction deal that they were doing. Um, someone stole and now there are three or four people who are trying to find but the way they communicate is all in fractions the way they're solving uh, the mystery is in fractions so it is very exciting it's definitely once your child is introduced to fractions only then I would say recommend this uh, book because otherwise it will be very overwhelming so but once you have introduced they know the concept of half one by four one by five five by nine that's when this book comes in very handy and the story just makes it very interesting and I would just want to show this book called The Matrix System. This is a great book. And uh, it, has, it has a lot of great information for kids, for gram, kilometers, centimeters, again, and uh, a lot of comparisons and a lot of uh, explanation done, too, with different kind of systems that we follow around the world. I will just show a couple of pages to you. Here they're talking about gallons. So it's a pretty cool book. This is how it looks like. The next one is Division. And of course, they're, it's done by Crabtree uh, Publications. And they have money, multiplication, geometry, graphing, math words and symbols. But I got it for Division just for Vivan to read and understand and do. Uh, like different ways of division we do so there is one way of reading there is one way of um, practicing but um, I think math books are very handy because once you are learning and understanding the concept at the same time when they show how it's done in the book while reading the story I think that's a very great tool of um, uh, learning math uh, these days and then we have these two books which are called squares rectangle and quadrilateral this is a, this is a pretty cool book on all different kinds of geometric shapes and how they are their angles vertices they show the time they show the degree so this is a pretty cool book we love this one and then what are our chances this book is a lot about probability statistics proportions and ratios uh, a little advanced book but definitely if you have um, a math, a math junkie or um, a person in your house who really like math, we would re uh, definitely recommend this, this book. And this by far is our favorite, favorite book, which is called How to Be a Math Genius. I definitely shared a picture of this book on my, um, on my Facebook. Everybody was asking me to show this book. So I'm definitely going to like just pass through. And you have, this book could be overwhelming, but so far, this is my son's favorite math book that I've got for him, and he loves it totally. Uh, could be overwhelming, but definitely if you want to know anything about these books, do let me know, guys. But thanks for watching, and let me know if you want to see more books that we follow or about any other subject. I plan to do the science books. Uh, sorry, I already did the science books uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I plan to do more books that we use at home. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. See you next time.